companies concerned about the great resignation and trying to find, attract, recruit and retain talent should first do one thing, ask the candidate what they want. It sounds simple, but this doesn't happen. Businesses offer a take it or leave it package. Instead of customizing the total salary and benefits plan, they offer a cookie cutter, one size fits all policy. The pandemic has made us think differently. While we want to be paid well, there is more to the picture. Here are some of the things that management should take into consideration when they are interviewing applicants. If businesses are serious about getting the best talent, they need to think outside of the box and become creative. A good place to start is by offering a 4 or 5 hour workday. There is no reason why a person has to work for 8 hours a day. It's an outdated construct from the past. During the last 2 years of the pandemic, people have worked remotely and spent considerably more than 8 hours a day working. They also put in late nights and weekends. Partly this was done, as there wasn't much else to do during COVID-19 lockdowns. Also, there was the prevalent fear of losing your job. It became crystal clear that pre-pandemic workers were judged by FaceTime in the office. Now, at home, the metric is output and production. It's more important what a person does than how many hours logged in at the office or on the computer. Since output and productivity is paramount, why is it necessary to put in 8 hours? If you are able to get your work assignments accomplished and exceed expectations within 5 hours, wouldn't it be fair to call it today? Businesses have no qualms about making you work late hours if a project needs to get done. If you are ordered to put in the extra hours, it's only fair to clock out when you finish your work, and the work product is exemplary. A 4 or 5 hour workday would be seen as an employee benefit. It doesn't have to be for everyone. For those interested, the trade-off is that they will have to get in on time, work diligently without any internet shopping searches and remain dedicatedly focused. If you are able to produce what is expected or exceed expectations, you're out by around 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. The record number of women left the workforce due to school closures and the lack of affordable childcare. A big issue during the pandemic was that many working mothers felt the pressure to leave their jobs to take care of their children. It was particularly challenging as public schools closed and the kids had to endure irritating online video classes that necessitated parental help. A flexible and staggered work schedule would smooth out these types of problems, 